Hi, Metro Detroit golfers. I'm Chad Elledge. I'm Ben Bakken. And we are coming to you with the Tuesday tip of the week. Uh, last couple of weeks, we've been talking about hitting the driver longer and then starting to get an understanding of uh, playing around with direction, yes? You got it. All right, we're going to continue down the directional control path today. So having said that, uh, we want you swinging it faster. Yeah. Yep. We want you swinging up. Yep. Right, left, center was a good activity. That was fun. And then we talked about for more refinement, right, to get it even tighter yet, this is the, uh, the activity that we're going to do, yes? You got it. So we call this one slight, moderate, severe. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our little friend, the jet stick here. We have a stick with weight on the end of it. And what we're going to do is we're going to swing this weight in different directions. So we're going to swing it right and we're going to swing it left, just different degrees in hopes of finding a straight ball flight. Hmm. So you're going to do, again, something different to get a different result. Yeah. And then if this doesn't work, that's when you go to the two hearted. Yes. So I agree with we've that. got other options. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good thing. <laughs> So having said that, you're going to demonstrate first, and then we're going to put our buddy Mike on the spot. Oh, today. yeah. He doesn't, know, he doesn't know we're calling him in, but we are. <laughs> <laughs> you're in, man. Tuesday tip of the week. So show us how you can swing this thing in different directions before we get Mike over here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically call out the direction that I'm swinging this weight in. So I'm going to go through the whole spectrum here all at one time just for time's sake. Here I go. I'm going to start by swinging the weight slightly to the right. So Ben, as you're doing this, this is a free swinging motion. Yes. There's no constraints or rules or keep your head down or any of that drama. True? Nope. You're Here's just slight right. Here's moderate right. So you change the, the swinging direction to more right on that one, moderately right. That is true. And then this one shows severe. Whoa. That's way over there. All right, now take us left. Slight left. Slight left. Moderate left. Here it comes. Oh yeah, that's a lot. This is how I broke the board in the video a couple weeks ago, severe. That was cool. People are still <laughs> talking about that. And then show us straightish, somewhere in between all of that. Okay. So what's important to know is a lot of you, you don't have to practice for 10,000 hours to change your swing. You can literally do it right now. You yeah, just have true. to be open-minded and start taking the weight in different directions. 99%, 99.9% 9 of you out there can do this. You're just not doing this. And that's the difference, yeah? That is true. Once again, got to be open-minded in order to do things, th uh, these things. You cannot be concerned about where the ball is going to go. As you do this activity, you're going to see some chaos, which is totally normal. Just be open-minded enough to try to swing the weight in a bunch of different directions. Okay. Mike, are you ready? Yeah. Here, Here we go. Is. So now we would ask you with this, let's just give him a chance to swing that jet stick. So, you know, do what Ben just did and you can just tell us what direction you're trying to swing in. Go right first. Okay. Slightly, moderately, or severely. Which one? That was that was severely, I thought. Okay, so that's severe. Moderate. Now show a slight. Okay, now show a slight left. Moderate left. Severe left. Yes, let's go back to the right. Slight right. Good, moderate right. Severe right. Oh yeah, he can do it. So at home, you could see, you've never done that before, is that never. true? All right, never. so you could see that the technique changed in front of all of our faces. Like he literally started doing different things, yeah? Yeah. All right, cool, so that's how you would change your swing. Just start doing it, do it different, yeah? Well, all right. Now I get that. Yeah. Now you have to swing this thing just as free as you swung that jet okay. stick in order to give this thing a chance, all right? You ready? So where do you want to start? Do you want to start slight right, moderate right, severe light right, slight left, moderate, moderate left? Moderate right. Moderate right. Okay, man. Here we go. So you are just going to swing that driver freely, moderately to the right. Let's see what happens. Definitely went right. All right. <laughs> so in your, in your mind, we're able just to swing the weight of the club in a direction. Yeah. All right, cool. Oh, that was uh, kind of interesting. What were you trying it? to do there? trying to severely swing it right. All right, so the ball's the teacher, right? Now, if you try to swing it right and the ball doesn't work, the first one you didn't like, now it's time to do something different. Yep. What are you going to do different, bud? Try it left. Sure. Let's see what you got. Slight, moderate, or severe? Uh, slight. Okay. Okay, more solid. Once again, definitely goes away. <laughs> What are you going to go with here? I'm going to do that one again. Okay. Left. Slight left. Left. 
Okay. What's next? What do you recommend? Did you try uh, try slight right yet? I'll do that. Let's All go right. slight right. Yeah. Boom. Boom. I felt like it's just swung very freely. In there. That Good. was awesome, wasn't it? You know? Yeah. So you see I how I didn't try to pound it or anything. No, you were open minded, yeah. right? So you weren't really concerned about where the ball was going to go. You just tried slight, moderate, severe yeah. in a bunch of different directions, and you notice there was three of them that really didn't work. Like the outcome sucked, yeah. right? But we weren't chasing an I outcome. See it right there. <laughs> <laughs> we have evidence. <laughs> but then when you just didn't go as much, you know, you backed it down from severe, then you went moderate, and then you went slight, and all of a sudden, bam. Like that thing was hit perfectly straight right down the middle of the fairway. Yeah. That so, was cool, man. So if you, yeah, if you were on your own, bud, and you went out to practice, do you think you could help yourself just by playing around with this and you quickly find out what helps you? Absolutely, yeah. Should I just practice the different ways to, you know, like you said, slight, moderate, um, severe. When you're doing that, I think it's interesting too because you're kind of thinking, okay, how am I severely going to hit this right, you know, or how am I uh, slightly going to hit it left? But I think it's those small tweaks that you figure it out. Let me ask you, you this. Did out, you yeah. bog yourself down with a bunch of details or are you just no. trying to like, all yeah. right, like let's just see what this does? Yeah. Yep, just swing freely like you said. So here's the other thing, Metro Detroit golfers. Another thing that you need to realize is not every day is going to be the same. I think a lot of times us as golfers, we think like, oh, I got the secret. It's slightly right. I never knew that. This is going to be amazing. And then you go out the next day like, what the hell just happened? So this is an experiment that you run on a daily basis. Just because it's slight right today might not be slight right yeah. tomorrow. It might be, you know, maybe it's moderate right or maybe it's slight left. So you just kind of be playful as you're warming up on the driving range and see what works for you that day. The ball will let you know and you will find out very, very quickly what you like. And then at the end of the day, the best case scenario is you can learn to help yourself. Yes. That is the end of this story where it's like, how would you get people to, to do it on their own, right? Without all the rules and some expert trying to tell you, here's the perfect way to do it, which is complete nonsense. So swinging the weight of the club, slightly right or slightly left, playing around with it. It's okay to make errors. That's how you're going to find what works for you. Hats off to you, man. That took some guts to get up here and try that <laughs> in front right. of everybody. So, so hit one way to the right. <laughs> so this is yeah. 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 So this is Sully coming at you, yeah. <laughs> Metro Detroit Fair golfers. <laughs> if you want more videos like these, go to our YouTube page at Golf Leadership Academy, and uh, you know the more evidence that you see that this works for yourself, we, we have a whole bunch of stuff there for you. So we thank you for joining us, and we we'll look forward to seeing you next time.